What's going on guys, FJ Eric here, and I've got a short list of simple mods that I'm gonna be sharing with you today that are some of my favorite ones that I've had since I've had the FJ. Uh, so, you know, three, four years going on, something like that. And I know the first thing you're thinking is like mods, prices, you know, how much money am I gonna be spending? Well, nothing on this list costs over $100. So I know you think that you have to spend a lot to get like something great and whatnot, but all of these are stuff that people either take for granted, you know, and as far as like how good the product is, how long it'll last, um, or they just don't think about it because it is just so simple. So I think I've got like six or seven on this list and only two of those are gonna be vehicle specific uh, to the FJ. If you don't have an FJ, no worries. Uh, like I said, all these other ones will pertain to you as well. But if you do have an FJ, then you already know that it's one awesome vehicle. Maybe you have some of these, maybe you don't. Maybe you have something similar and you're looking to uh, upgrade or, or just kind of switch it up a little bit. So let's go ahead and get right into that on this first one that I use more than anything. The first one's going to be this magnet holder for my phone. And I know that sounds really simple. So you've got the uh, piece of metal that's on the back and then you've got the magnet that you can stick onto any part of the dash. Um, really anywhere. It's super strong. I've only actually had one of these on the dash. I've only had two of these on the back of my phone. Um, this was the second one. Uh, I think I've had three phones with the old sticky that was on it and I was just actually just moving them from phone to phone like it was still sticking really strong. I and mean, you can tell this thing is super sturdy around and it's so I mean you have to kind of force it to you know pull that off. And the first phone I had was on it forever and it actually started to pull the screen off the back of the phone. Now I don't use a case, uh, so that's why I had that problem, but if you do have a case, then you know obviously you'll never even have to stick that to anything. You slide it between the case and the phone um, and that'll last you forever. And this right here costs $12. I'm gonna put all the links below. So yeah, 12 bucks for that. Lasts you forever. Now these next two are gonna be the ones that are vehicle specific and I'm gonna start with these doors. If you didn't know this, you can take your door off just like a Jeep. Uh, there's no difference. So these pins that are 5 16th, you just cut the factory pin and then you can throw these in there. And that way it's like a quick release pin uh, to your door. Now I've got a pair of tube doors that I put on sometimes during the summer or I'll just ride no doors. Either way, it makes it super convenient and a lot quicker to just pull those pins, drop the door off somewhere, put it in the garage, wherever you want to store them. And I will put the video down below that I actually saw on YouTube of somebody doing this. That way it'll help you out a lot too. I think I actually got these pins at Tractor Supply and they were $6. So really, really cheap um, and super cool too. While we're talking about doors, um, on this back one right here, the glass, you know, it opens all the way up and sometimes you just don't want that. Somebody could reach a hand in or something like that, still whatever you got in the back. Um, so these little window stoppers from Rad Rubber I've had this for forever. It's starting to like almost dry rot. I've had it for so long. Just getting wet and sitting in the sun and whatnot. Uh, but it's still really strong. It just keeps your window from opening all the way. Uh, you can have a gap about right here. I think they've got three different sizes. I've got the smallest one because of my spare tire. And so I know for sure with the FJ, if you've ever got like your windows down or the doors off, something like that, then um, there's just so much wind just just back and forth so if you crack that window just a little bit it gets rid of all of that but there's no rattle with it at all it doesn't even move price on these are gonna be $14 I don't know if that depends on the size like I said I've got the shortest one and I know you can get different ones uh, but this one is $14 so both of those are gonna be really good for the summer uh, keeping it in the door family rain guards I know that doesn't sound like much um, but again, with the FJ, you've got, if you crack your window, maybe about like so, it just rattles a good bit. So keeping the rain guard and the wind keeps that window from rattling, and that helps a lot. If you're sleeping in your car or anything like that, uh, then you can crack those windows. Doesn't look like they're open. That's always a plus as well. Uh, it can be a little bit more incognito with that. And these are gonna be $40. I don't know if it's just this brand. I know you can find some cheaper ones, but I'll put the link on the ones that I have. I've also had these for a good while too, and Everything is still stuck on here all the way, so no play. The uh, last mod I have that's gonna be under $10 are gonna be these little side mirrors that you can adjust. Um, doesn't matter what vehicle you have, they are extremely safe. And these are gonna be $8. So $8 could potentially save your life, in a sense. So I definitely think it's worth the money. I've had them on every single vehicle I've ever owned. Um, and once you get used to them, you almost can't even live without them, to be honest. The last one that I have is gonna be one of my newer ones and it's the LED headlight bulbs. 
and I had never even heard about these for your headlights. You know, I'd always heard of like the HIDs and whatever else, and those are like crazy expensive. These are only gonna be $42, and that's this brand right here. These are the ones that were recommended to me, um, so I tried them out. They're super easy to install. It's just like the stock headlight, uh, but they are a lot beefier and a whole lot brighter. I'll show you a comparison too uh, for when I just had the stock headlights and then I put these LEDs in and it was just so crazy. I've never been able to see out of this thing at night. So now that I finally can, I, I just love it even more. Um, so definitely, definitely worth the money on these. The most expensive mod at only $89, still under a hundred. And some of you may argue, but this snorkel, I feel like I get better MPG with it. Leave your comment below on what you think on that but I do have a scan gauge that does show me the average. And before the snorkel, I was running 11, some, somewhere like that, 11.5. Um, now that I do have the snorkel, that I've been getting high, like high 12s, right around 13. So call me crazy, numbers don't lie. Um, and like I said, I know a lot of y'all will either say yay or nay, it's not possible, could be possible. I don't know, that's just my opinion. Now this looks just like the Safari one, that's like 400 or something dollars. I don't even know the brand of this one to be honest, it's just a cheap knockoff. Looks identical, and I haven't had any issues with it actually on, however it was a pain to install. So be aware of that, you do have to drill into your fender, that's not a huge deal for me, I've already drilled into my hood, drilled into my roof rack, drilled into my, I mean you name it, it's got a hole in it or a zip tie holding something. I don't really care about that personally. Um, this is the look that I really wanted. So if you have the uh, stock fenders that are gonna be underneath, you can do that with this one. Uh, obviously if you have the bushwhacker ones where I used to have, you can kind of tell they've like kind of scraped up the paint and whatnot. Um, you will not have to have this one. I think you have to have kind of like a specific one for that. Uh, don't really know anything about it. But yeah, I'm definitely interested to hear what y'all have to say about getting a little bit more MPG, like one mile per gallon um, by having a snorkel. So I know you can put that on just about any vehicle. Um, and they're out there. Those are my top mods. Let me know what you think. Check out those links below. You can also go to those links. Even if you don't even buy what's on the link, just buy something from Amazon that you already want. Um, that would help my channel out a lot. Plus you already get what you want. So it's a win-win. 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 You can't go wrong. While we're talking about mods, I do have some more stuff uh, that I'm gonna be adding right before I leave for my trip. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'm super excited. I'm getting to try out some new stuff. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time.